Welcome back to What Artie Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an Object 140. It's a Soviet Tier 10 medium tank, and this one's located on the north spawn of Muravanka under the command of Arpenheimer. Well, he's got two marks on the barrel, and it's actually sporting a rather unusual skin. Uh, makes it look more like a T-72 with those uh, red eyes. Yep, definitely looks very weird. But anyway, it's a very fast, agile medium, which was uh, designed to replace the T-34, uh, T-54, I just think, not T-34, uh, but never went into production because instead the Soviets decided they wanted to go ahead with the uh, the Object 430. And the leaks. Uh, oh my god, an auto aim shot onto him for 331. Well, that's one of the good points of this tank, actually. It has a very good gun, very good gun handling. And he's also aiming onto these targets. And all oh, the back chat over there, but we can't hit him. It's through the buildings. Ah, leather. Nice round into his rear, 266. The alpha damage of the gun is 320 millimeters, uh, 320 alpha. Uh, it's um, 264 millimeters of penetration with standard ammo. He's just firing standard APCR at the moment, 100 millimeter gun. And another penetration, a Wizzy 11114. He's certainly racking up the damage. He's up to 1.6k already. The game's only been going for 1 minute 15 seconds. Oh, Wizzy 11114, one into the turret, 340. Now this position happens to be one of my favourites as well because it's, you'd be amazed at the number of enemy tanks they come into the forest thinking, oh yes, we can, we can find the enemy. But you can hit either the lights that are in the field or to heavy tanks that are actually in the forest from here. Okay, L3 L3432 is a little further off. He tried to water Wayne but it didn't work. He's leaving this spot, I think, because of his teammate, the Skoda T50, who's cramping style. And we put a round into the side of the bat chat, who just seems to be oblivious to the fact that there's enemy tanks looking in. And okay, well, we're gonna go through the field and try and sneak up along the outside in the open. Can we get shots on them? Yes! Oh, it ricocheted off the rounded turret of the lever. I think it caught the rear of the turret. But that lever's in a load of trouble. He's out the game now. He obviously wasn't paying attention. He paid the money for his premium tank and didn't know how to handle it. Well, somebody is capping. This is an encounter game. Mind you, it's going to take them a little while to cap. And we get around into a ship barn over there who also seems oblivious to the fact that he can be seen. Can we get shots in that 30? No. T10. Okay, we're going to go into the forest. I think we've got this ridge line in the way. That's why we can't get shots on them. But from on top of this ridge line, yeah, we're going to be at shot at a little, I think. Yeah, ooh, Malbreaker. Uh, oh, some mouse. Ooh. And he got around into our tracks to immobilize us, but we used our repair kit. Got out of there quick. Don't really want to go toe to toe with a mouse. Uh, medium tanks don't tend to survive very long if they try to do that. And the enemy is capping again. Okay, object 907. You sneak up on him. Nope. Critical damage. It probably went through his tracks. The mouse is there. Here he comes. Go for the quick spot. Yes! 377. It's a high roll. Through his uh, tracks. Can we go for the front? Nope. That's not going to go through. Yeah, the mouse is covering that corner for the moment. The 907's pulled back. He's not looking at us though, and we put him around through the side of his turret. Will he be looking at us now? Nope. And we put another heat round through the side, but he is paying attention to us now because he realizes we can do a world of damage and one through the front of his turret as well. 389. Now might be the time to leave. Another round for 304, but that mouse is getting close to perforating us. And we're going to try and use our speed to get around him this way. Now he's in a bit of trouble. One is rear, Klaus Kellerman style. He's trying to push us back using sheer weight so he can turn his, his turret around. But we put another one into his side. Oh my god, this is so annihilation of the mouse. He really has put himself in a whole world of trouble. There was me thinking, 
Oppenheimer needs to run away. No, he didn't. He just take care of the mouse, taking care of business. So, mouse is gone. The enemy's two tanks down, and they're capping. But it is an encounter game, so it does take them rather longer to cap. 2.5 times the normal cap time. So it's uh, 410 seconds to cap out. Was it 410? No, sorry. 250 seconds to cap out. Sorry. Okay, we got shots from the VK from here. And oh, he auto aimed onto him and got a shot in. And that was with standard APCR. Go for it again. No, it didn't work this time. There's still two others in the cap, though, but other than him. And they're behind the house. Okay, ship on. Yes, we got around into his rear for 332. Creeping up on them slowly. Get closer and closer. Yes, ship on. And he's out the game. Going for the T T54 E1. Side of the turret. Oh, we got rammed! Just as we fired. I'm not sure if we hit him or not. But the um, the T-34-2 managed to kill the T-54. And now there's only two enemies left. The Object 907 and their RT, which is an M40, M43. And here comes the 907. Yeah, he knows it's us. We must see our red eyes and thinking, uh-oh. Uh. He's sporting a few little green eyes of his own, actually. Here we go. Right up the arse. Yes. 295. And unfortunately, we took a round in the tracks, but we got another round into him. He's now in a world of hurt. Oh, this is not going to end badly for the, well for the 907. He's out the game. Now, oh, M40. That didn't work at range, but he's been killed, and he was taken out the game by the Wizzy 1114. Oh, my gum. Fairly quick towards the end. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a second class tanker, but Oppenheimer in the Object 140. He also got a Fire Pro Effect, a uh, Bruiser Medal out of the Minor Medals, and of the Epic ones, he got a High Calibre and a Defender. Well, he certainly did put enough rounds into the enemy while they were capping, and it certainly helped. Win 8 of that game, 9927. Let's have a look at the uh, team score. Right at the top of the table, 7,463 hit points of damage. Uh, nearly double, nearly the uh, uh, the high score of the enemy team, which was the Object 907 at the end. 4,053 hit points to him. And then the next high score was the Ferdinand with 3,006. When it came to kills, it was actually the Wizzy 11114. He got four kills. Of course, that last kill on the M40, M43 was the bit that sealed it for him. And Oppenheimer managed to get three and when it came to base XP, it was the Ferdinand who did the best. 1,032 for him. And then Offenheimer came with 994. And the Wizzy 11914 managed to get 870. So let's have a look at detail. He fired 33 rounds in that game. He got 27 direct hits and 25 penetrations. Um, he did have to use a fair bit of a, uh, heat ammo on that uh, mouse. But then it's a big tank to take down. Damage of 7,463 hit points, of which 1,319 were at more than 300 meters. And those were the shots into the cap area from halfway through, halfway across the map. Uh, received three hits from the enemy. One was a penetration, two non-penetrations. And he blocked damage of 320 hit points. He damaged eight of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance of 13 hit points. And he managed to get 71 defense points. So only just by one well, by two points, basically, that he managed to get the uh, uh, the Defender Medal. On a premium count, he earned 96,881 credits. But after all that heat ammo expended, he actually only took away 3,011 altogether. But he did pick up seven bonds for the High Caliber and the... Um, what was the other one that he got? The uh, Defender. Yes, sorry. And uh, he also picked up 1,491 XP. And there was no multipliers, so that's all the experience points he took away. But very nice battle. And it was amazing to see an Object 140, which is a tank that I would normally, when I see a mouse, I would normally try and shoot at him from a distance or run away. But uh, no, he actually took him on face to face uh, and actually used his agility to get around the mouse, shoot him in his weak points, shoot him in the side of the turret with the heat rounds, even in the front of the turret through the weak spots in the with the heat rounds. 
but he just managed to dance around that mouse and put enough rounds into him that eventually he just gave up and died. Uh, so great little game there. Um, if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.